Alrighty, and hello everybody, and welcome back to another big review. Wow, so we have today the Taki and Mitsuha from Kimi no Nawa pop-up parades. My last video, it wasn't by a lot, but they did pull forward. So everyone that did vote and let me know which ones you wanted to see, uh, I appreciate it. I still, of course, have the Nobara and the Jolene left. So unless if something new comes up, those will be coming up next week. But we're going to take a look. We're going to go quick because we got two figures here. We're going to start with Taki here. The main male lead now I know sometimes with these boxes it's a little bit yeah a little bit hard to see because of the light um, I do apologize there's really not much that can be done for that Alrighty, and there he is just spinning around the package. You can get a look on the outside. Pop-up parades, if you don't already know, they all have this like just clear plastic on the outside. They've got just the basic uh, banner across the bottom. They all have these weird, funky, simple geometric designs. This one you can see is just blue, green, dark blue, and white with like some weird square. Um, and I guess now they're doing squares instead of triangles. So they've evolved, woo! But here is the top and the bottom just so you can kind of see that as best as possible and really quick too actually just because my little spinning base is a pain we're going to go ahead and look at Mitsuha as well so you can just obviously see the outside it's all the same same text same color she's got red instead of green the only major difference obviously than just like the general text and stuff we of course have top bottom basically the exact same and just so you can, oops, sorry, just so you can somewhat get a better look on the inside, almost looks like marine flags, but, and as well, there is just a spin around of the packaging. It's just the front, the back, no loose pieces, and they didn't use tape on him either. It's just the two actual plastic uh, clamshell pieces, so. Now, once you do get him out, he has his base. It's like a light, gray color just plain simple gray and of course you just attach them to the bottom and there he is outside of the packaging now um if you don't already know this these figures are were originally like super high-end nice expensive figures that good smile produced um I at least i believe it was good smile they then decided instead, um, well now, much later, to make pop-up parade versions of them. They are gonna be a lower quality than the original ones that were released, most likely with paint, sculpt, the actual designing of the face, some of the features. However, it was a much more affordable option as there were a couple times where I saw the two of them together going for $400, where now it's, you know, less than 100. I was not about to spend $400, though, <laughs> sorry. And the original ones came as well with background pieces from the movie, uh, too, if I'm not mistaken. They may have been a pre-order bonus, but they were really pretty background pieces. So, the more you know. But let's look at them up closer here, Mr. Taki. Hmm, Takis. <laughs> Alrighty. And as per usual, we are going to start with his lovely lovely face look at him all up close she close he has light blue eyes just like a nice kind of periwinkle blue very soft features not a whole lot of shading or blushing honestly i'm gonna say this from what i saw for the originals versus this one the face is kind of very different it's definitely not the best work for good smile even for their pop-up parades moving right along though his hair um, nicely gradiented. There is like light auburn uh, browns and then there's like the dark browns on the bottom of course. Typical standard shading however it, it's nice to mention. The spikes themselves aren't fantastic like they're not very clear or crisp. There are a couple spots where it kind of melds together if that makes sense. Uh, you can kind of see where it just kind of looks like a clump versus individual strands. Again these are more for the price point so his shirt and the detailing on his tie, I actually like the way that the, the t actual top looks, his torso looks. He does have like the little school emblem as well as like his shirt pocket and the actual lining on his sleeves. Um, there is shading on the white as well. There's light grays as well as very, very light touches of blue. 
So this is at least very nicely done on the shirt. Again, this is kind of what I come to expect from Pop-Up Parade. And of course he has all the stripes on his tie. It looks like it's just slightly blowing in the wind and you can see even his shirt is kind of getting pushed by the wind as well as it does buckle up a little bit more over here versus on this side. So pretty nice small little touches here. This was just, I think, recast from the original, but then they just like lessened the quality. So still though, his arms just plain basic. However, I do like the way that they're sculpted. He's got a nice little slender arms, but he does still have like all the little bends in his elbow, on his wrist and on his fingies as well. <laughs> he of course is wearing the bracelet the nice bracelet that he had that connects them their red string of fate throughout the movie and on his school bag he's got a simple uh just leather book bag plain black shiny he does have the little gray uh or silver buckles and things as well and like the hook so that's pretty nice and there's even itty bitty tiny little buttons there so the bag's really nicely done there is a kind of clumpy spot here which kind of stinks for me it's not like a perfect shine it looks like some of the paint actually got rubbed off or got rubbed on from something else and then there's his booty uh nice and flat just like his book bag can barely even see it look at that so flat he, of course, has his brown belt, his brown gray slacks, pretty simple. However, again, there is very slight, simple shading and it's sculpted really nicely just with the actual bends and folds on the pants themselves. So I think that does look really nice, just like kind of a little bit too big for him, but not too big. And he's got his shiny, I would say like dark, he's got a shiny, like dark gray uh, slippers here and his little white socks peeking out underneath. So that's Taki though. Again, we're going through this pretty quick because there is two of them. So we're gonna open up Miss Mitsuha. And just so you can see again, here's the inside for hers. As I mentioned earlier, she's got a red stripe instead of how he has the green. That's their color scheme, so it makes sense, but in case you care. Now for her base, um, she has a green base. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that. I was really hoping they would have the same color or even if she has green, couldn't they have given him red, like Taki red, since it's the whole tying them together? I don't know. I don't like that his is gray and hers is green though. Alrighty, and here she is though, of course, out of the packaging, already got cat hair on her, love that. <laughs> but either way, she is just, of course, the cute classic schoolgirl outfit. Small differences between this one and the original. We're gonna go into that end a little bit closer, but I of course wanted you to see her in her full glory. Ooh. We are of course gonna take a closer look at her though. Boom. Wow, look at her pretty face. Now again, uh, if you are looking at the original versus this one, me just having looked at them from a distance, you can tell definitely that the quality on these is not the highest, but still not bad None, nonetheless again these are for the price point it's always a win if your bank account's happy so she has light soft brown eyes a little bit of golden touch to them very cute she had her really small little tiny itty bitty mouth nothing too pronounced there now her neck is kind of ugly i'm not gonna lie but oh you know again um luckily you look at it mostly from this direction so there's that her hair blowing in the wind, opposite direction of where Taki's is blowing, because again, they're supposed to be kind of a cross dimension time, I guess, so. However, she does have lots of nice soft strands. These are, again, not the best that I've seen. They're not super clear cut, super sharp. They're kind of mushy looking is a good way to describe them. Um, some of them are a little bit crunchy too, like this is, uh, sharp but not in the good way it's like sharp where like it got cut funny if that makes sense the back of her hair though she has her intricate hair design because she of course always did her fancy braids and pulls it up back with her her ribbon again that red string of faith comes back it's still blowing in the wind still pretty cute sorry I bumped the camera Again, though, it's not super duper detailed. It's pretty simple. And honestly, her hair is not as shaded 
as intensely as his. I think there is some really, really light shading there, but not nearly as noticeable as I've seen in other figures. And maybe that's just because her, her hair is technically a little bit darker, so it's a little bit harder to notice. However, much lighter. Moving right along though, her shirt, again, the shirt's really nicely uh, shaded and detailed. It has all the wrinkles and fold on the bottom and on her cuffs. And again, there is like actual shading in the shirt itself. Hers is more of a purple shading though, just to kind of go with the red tones of her overall design. So I do think that's another nice touch, just another light shading. And again too, they're kind of look into that idea of them being in different places. So pretty cool overall. I mean, it's just nicely done. And again, you can see that wind kind of blowing with how with how her sleeve is hitting up against her shirt and how this one's, of course, bowing out a little bit. So again, nice small touches. Her bright red ribbon, nothing too fancy or crazy going on there. It's pretty simple. Her plain black pleated skirt nice simple standard schoolgirl skirt it's not super short though that's nice you know that's pretty cool you can again too see it's blowing in the wind so i like the way you can kind of tell like oh, how it crumples all together it's just really nicely done uh, no major shading if i didn't already say that it's kind of similar to her hair it's just pretty flat looking honestly her arms pretty standard they're really delicate looking again so just Kind of nice actual like sculpting on that. There's a couple sharp spots inside her fingers there where it's not perfectly molded, but again, small things, cheap figures moving on. Her bag, very cute. Simple school bag. There's a little bit of shading to it, not a whole lot, but or it's just really good sculpting. It's one or the other, but nonetheless, the sculpting is good. Moving down, we have her knees. These I can tell are not shading, but they are, however, nicely sculpted. So what what can I say? <laughs> she has calf length black socks. Once again, pretty simple, pretty plain. And then she has her shiny brown loafers. Nice and shiny so you can see them from a mile away. And of course, we're going to flip her up. Uh, there's nothing much going on underneath, honestly. You could see just a glimpse. They're little white peonies. You know, she's going to school. That's that's what we expected. <laughs> I always hope for different peonies, but yet, here we are. Alrighty, and that is going to bring us to the end, you guys. So, now, of course, we get to see them next to each other. There's a lot of things that I still like about this. First of all, it's Your Name merch, so I'm happy. Um, and it was affordable, Your Name merch. Now, there is the big caveat to that, which is you can definitely tell there was maybe not as much effort put into these, even as some of their other pop-up parade figures. Like, obviously, I just did a review of the Lucy Taurus figure, and I had no real issues with that. Well colored, well sculpted, really cute design. These ones, I'm not going to fault anything for designs or anything like that. In fact, I actually like these designs a lot. But the shading was only really nice in certain parts where other parts were really lackluster. The paint wasn't always the best, especially when it came to the hair, like how like thick it looked. And then their facial expressions are not the best I've seen. And usually good smiles, honestly, really good about faces, um, especially with their given price point. I did not, <laughs> unfortunately, like how the bases looked. I don't like the the gray and the green. I would have preferred much more if they both were gray or maybe if they both were green or green and red or both were red, maybe. So, uh, like... What can you say? But nonetheless, I still really like them. Um, the only other thing I forgot to mention, obviously, if you are looking for comparison's sake, their bases, I know these ones are super plain. The original ones also as well had them standing on like actual design. So like stairs or grass or like a field. It was like really artistic looking. These are again recasts of those original figures put at a lower price point. They're not going to do as nice of bases so that's kind of how it happens i also wish they were closer pop-up parade it's copied pasted i i mentioned this in my, literally in my last video but i don't love these bases i'm gonna be honest i they're really thick they leave a lot of room around the figure which i'm sure some people like i personally don't because i put all my figures super close together so it just makes space that i literally like this is 
this is so much space in between them. Either way, those are kind of my last little gripes there. If you would like to see more pictures of them though, I will post them on my Instagram. That's going to be at Desunasis. I have pictures of all my figures on there and I'm sure if you scrolled back really far, there are pictures of my Nenrai Ta Taki and Mitsuha as well. They are pretty far back and I do have an old video of them on my channel too. It's like one of my first review videos so it's going to be really junky and awkward but hey, if you want to watch it, thanks. <laughs> you have also all these other places you can find me. I'm doing lots of things all the time, every day. 24 7 if, if you made it to the end of my video i appreciate you sticking around to the end uh means a lot to me and i hope you had a great rest of your last week and you have a great rest of your next week and i'll see you next time Just tell me one thing before you go, in this other